Cameras trained on one man. Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. We're live on EA TV. say it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue craven cottage by the banks of the thames my name is derek ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is stuart robson and we've got premier league action coming right up it's fulham versus manchester united thanks derek well often we talk about the tactics the individual players players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Casemiro plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. It's looking promising. It's a perfect challenge. It is a decent looking attack here. The high press was on and that's a fantastic tackle. And quick thinking defensively. Sufian Amrabat. Bruno Fernandes has it. More than decent this from United. Might be a chance here. Oh, last ditch defending at its very finest. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. And the keeper collects under a bit of pressure. Pereira. Wilson. Now with Jimenez. Pereira. Wilson. And Palinha with it. Just the challenge that was required. Real chance. Oh, that's a fine cross. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course it's a good finish, but the marking is woeful. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Harrison Reid... Pereira. Well, they have the ball once more. Rashford. Opportunity it is. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. So, 2-0 now. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. Tim Ream. 
Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. William. And they could get one back here. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Corner kick played in. Not the best clearance. Pereira. On to Wilson. Can he take advantage? Oh, good save. Let's see about the delivery. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Anthony. Now Casemiro. Advantage Manchester United. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Robinson. And Palinha with it. William. Palinha. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, half time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency. But oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity! My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, he's gone back and shown him a yellow card, Stuart. Well, that was a poor challenge. The referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? He's driven in the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And the referee's whistle. We're officially at the halfway mark here in West London. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. The second half underway, United with the advantage, but no room for complacency. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Pereira. Fernandes. Will he play it in? And it's in for Manchester United. They are on a victory course. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal.
So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Pereira. And snuffed out the danger immediately. He's in behind. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. Who can he pick out? Forced into the penalty area. Well, the timing was off, and the decision is offside, Stuart. And he shouldn't be offside there. He needs to have a greater understanding of the situation. Interception to snuff out the danger. Now well, far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, no surprise there. He's a little bit upset, isn't he? Sloppy in possession from Fulham. Reguilon. Play towards the back post. Fernandes. And now Rashford. Reguilon. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, here you can see it again. It's close, but it's certainly not over the line. The official's got that absolutely right. Here's a change for Manchester United. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Christian Eriksen. Played over, and the danger's still on. No oh, chance, perhaps. It's a save and a half from Bert Leno. And time for the change now. So the corner played into the box. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Encouraging stuff from United. Sufian Amrabat. Options in the middle. Eriksson. Able to get his body in the way. And they will make the change now. And over comes the corner. And dealt with it nicely. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. A oh, very effective play and they might be onto something. Superb save. Balinha. Robinson. And Palinha with it. Top class defending. He's very adept at protecting the ball. A good and fair challenge. Marcus Rashford. Now counter-attacking possibilities. 
Might lead to a chance. Can he finish? Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. Manchester On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. Just the challenge that was required. Just 10 minutes to go. Might work out. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. Well, the misery continues. Quite simply, Stuart, he had to go. Well, I think that sums up their day. A complete lack of discipline from everybody involved. And they're making a change. Rashford. Really good build-up, but no end product. Well, Manchester United all-powerful. They've accelerated away in this one, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Chance here. Still possibilities. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Throw in to Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes. And he takes on the shot. A oh, good hit, close shave. And now William coming into it and passing it well. Well, offside here. Such a pity for them. Chance was on. And that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.